welcome to Daily Records. I am Tommy Burton, and we are talking about Guitar Heroes, and we're going to talk about one of the greats, Mr. Doc Watson and his son Merle Watson. This is their album, Two Days in November. Um, this was released in 1974, and it refers, uh, the title refers to the two days that it took uh, to record the album. This is uh, on the uh, Poppy Records label. I'll show you guys. It's the inner sleeve. It says Poppy Records. And then, of course, the um, the label there. Uh, and so this was recorded and produced by um, Cowboy Jack Clement, um, known for working with, uh, starting out at the Sun Studio in Memphis and then working their way over. And, and Jack actually did uh, the liner notes uh, for the album. Um, Jack Clement, president, Dipsy Doodle Construction Company. Uh, so, so there you go. Um, uh, now this, um, was an interesting album because, um, Doc was, um, and those of you who are unfamiliar with, with Doc's playing, he was very melodic, uh, and he took a lot of, uh, old, old melodies, um, which, which he does here. And, um, he, he gives the, the, this stuff, um, this sort of, um, you know, the bluegrass feel, um, that it, that it, um, that it deserved. Now, of note, uh, in the Grammys in 1975, this album won the Grammy Award for Best Ethnic or Traditional Folk Recording. Now, I want to talk a little bit about Doc Watson. Uh, Doc was a, um, uh, a f world famous uh, bluegrass uh, guitar player from North Carolina, um, and he's very celebrated uh, here in the Carolinas um, as one of the one of the great players. Um, and just um, just one of the um, one of the more um, celebrated they every year, um, as well as Merle Watson, uh, both both are um, every year they have a big festival in Wilkes County, um, Merle Fest, uh, which is which is named for Merle Watson. Uh, and and like I said, Doc uh, Doc and Merle are are two of the more uh, celebrated uh, musicians uh, from the area. Um, and this album is just a just a nice um, a nice grab bag of, of that style of music, traditional acoustic uh, playing and picking. Um, some of the titles on the album: uh, "I'm Going Fishing," uh, which was an arrangement uh, that Doc did. "Ken Folks in Carolina," uh, Merle Travis um, song. Um, they do a medley of a "Little Beggar Man" and "Old Joe Clark." Um, uh, Call Elijah. Uh, the Hank Williams song that everyone knows, uh, the train that carried my girl from town, uh, a beautiful, a beautiful arrangement of Snowbird, uh, which is a great melody anyway. Um, you know, one of those, one of those things, and then of course Doc's Rag, which may be one of the more uh, famous pieces uh, from this album. Um, just classic uh, bluegrass picking and playing, uh, and, and and beautiful music. Doc and Merle Watson albums. Um, tend to be highly collectible, particularly amongst uh, bluegrass pickers, because uh, they're an education in that style of music, um, that kind of old school, um, taking those those traditional melody melodies and, and turning them around and, and give them a, uh, giving them a new kick, uh, as they call it, new grass music, uh, as it were. Uh, and so it it's it's very modern playing, but but they they definitely. Um, sound like they could have could have been uh even with the modern modern feel to it they also have the sound that they could have been been recorded in the um in the in the 30s or or, or going as far back um and this is one of the the better releases so so definitely worth seeking out so today's guitar hero um doc watson merle watson uh both fabulous uh of course teamed up with jack clement two days in november a beautiful, beautiful album, today's daily record. Like, comment, subscribe, share, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. It's Tommy Burton75. I love interacting with you guys. In the meantime, I will see you all again tomorrow with another daily record.